All right, everyone, now that we have put our mural together, we've glued all of our shapes down of our different skin colors in different shapes. Um, now we're going to start to draw on top of our mural design some things that remind us of diversity. So on my sketchbook, I've just made a little bit of a plan of what I'm going to put into my mural. So when I think of the word diversity, remember diversity means everybody in the world is different and unique. We all look differently, but we're all still people. So I think of the whole world and all the different people in the world. So I'm gonna draw a globe um, with blue and green. I also think about all, how people look differently, how we all have different skin colors and different hair colors. I think about how um, each of us look differently. So I'm gonna draw three arms with different skin colors. Um, I think about how we all live in different places. Some of us live in houses. Some of us live in big buildings in the city. Um, so I'm going to draw different places that people could live. I also think about how at school we all look differently. So I'm going to draw a school. I think about different countries across the world. So I'm drawing different flags from across the world. I also think about um, how we should all love each other. Even though we all are different, we all should love each other. So I'm drawing uh, hearts and peace signs so to show that we um, should have peace and love and respect for everyone. So these are the things that I'm going to plan on putting into my mural design. So how I'm gonna start is I'm gonna start with my marker and try and sketch out some of these ideas. So I'm gonna start anywhere on my paper and just sketch some of the ideas that I have. So I know that my first idea is that everybody in the world looks differently, so I'm gonna draw the earth with different countries. So what we're gonna to use today to add some color to our mural is our oil pastels. Oil pastels are really nice because they're almost kind of like paint. They're really slick and they blend really nicely. So I'll use my oil pastels to add some color right over my background that I painted. So oil pastels are so awesome because they can go right over paint really nicely, really smoothly. So I'll color in each of my countries in my globe and my water, my globe, making sure I'm being really neat and precise and careful with my color. Okay, looks great. Now my next idea I remember is that a lot of people have different skin colors and different um, body parts and we all look differently. So I'm gonna draw three different types of arms with hands with different colors. So I think I will do that, mm, I I'll do that right here. And I think I'll put one more right here. Okay, so now I can use my oil pastels to fill in some color. So maybe this will be a peachy skin color of a person. Maybe this one will be a little more of a brownish color so I can find my brown oil pastel and add some brown. Okay, maybe this person has um, a skin color that's kind of brownish, but maybe it's a little bit lighter. So maybe I'll start with brown. And then just like how we mixed with our paint, I can take my white or my peach oil pastel and I can actually mix my oil pastels together to make a new color. So I can mix up peach and, or white and brown together to make a different kind of peachy color. So oil pastels blend really nicely if you wanna try and blend some colors like with our paint. Okay, another idea I had was that people all live in different places. So I think I will start to draw maybe some city buildings and some houses. And then I'll add some color to these. So it's your job to think about what do you think of in your mind? What images come to your head when you think about diversity? When you think about how everyone in the world looks differently from everyone else? and everybody is unique in the world. So think about what comes to your mind when you think of diversity. And that's what you're going to draw and color with your oil pastel, okay?